Hi everybody, it's Nikki, um, and I am here to do part six of Tandem T-Slim X2 with Basil IQ and Minimed, Minimed 670G manual mode smart guard with low management features comparison. Um, part six, resuming Basil. Um, I, this is no medical advice, this is all personal opinion. As I said, heavy personal opinion, um, but it's based on my experience and based on a lot of logs and a lot of, you know, um, getting familiar with these pumps. Um, Last section, I talked about what happens when your sensor, um, when you know, when you don't have a sensor value, um, what the pumps do when you when you lose a sensor value as far as suspends go. Um, and as I said, this one I'm going to go ahead and look at resuming basal. Um, again, this this is probably the most important part to me, um, and it is why I have so much emphasis on hyperglycemia because I do because on the 670G rebound highs were a thing. Um, I mean, they were really a thing. So um, when I got to T-Slim, I was very curious and ultra worried about whether or not I was gonna see those same rebound highs. Um, so when it comes to resuming basal, that really is the difference because, it's gonna, because that's gonna dictate how long the suspend was. So, um, so I saved myself 10 cents and, co and copied these in black and white, and that's a shame. Um, but I will put these up on Google Docs, and I will put that link in the description. But for now, I'll just show you, just so you get an idea what I'm talking about. This one right here is 670G, and this one right here is T-Slim. Um, and those shaded areas, those are my suspends. Um, this shaded area, and this is like a brown, um, and this is a, the red shaded areas. But these shaded areas are the suspends. Um, these are the exact same time of day. At this time, I was wearing both sensors. So these are, so both sensors, um, sorry, both pumps are suspending my insulin based on the same blood sugar value and how their sensor, you know, analyzed it or represented it. And this is what they decided to do in response to that. Um, these are all two hour suspends. Um, and as you can see, this is my longest one in there, and even that one's broken up. But let's say there's a, maybe a 20 or 30 minute one in there. Um, it's just a world of difference. Uh, so let's uh, look at how they do it. T-Slim X2 Basal IQ. As I have mentioned, Basal IQ will resume basal delivery once the current sensor reading has increased over the previous one. Um, so that's it right there. That seems to be for me the magic, you know, the magic element. And that is that as soon as basal IQ picks up on an increase in your current value over your last one, it turns your insulin back on and it doesn't care where it sees it. Um, so I can be at a 50 and my next value can be a 54. And as soon as I hit 54, it turns my insulin back on. Um, I love that. I mean, I absolutely, truly love and adore this. Um, I know that some people get very, very nervous when they think of their pump turning on their insulin at a 54. Um, but what the pump is doing is it's picking up your trend and what your trend is showing is that you're recovering. Um, so because you could be a 54 on your way to an 84, it, go, it goes ahead and starts your insulin again. Now, as soon as your trend turns downward again, it cuts it right back off again. So it's not like it gets locked in. I mean, that's the, there's really a couple of pieces that are kind of the magical difference. One is that it turns it on as soon as that sensor value shows an increase, but two, it's really flexible and that it can turn around and turn right back off again. Um, and then right back on again, and then right back off again. And it can do that according to what is happening with your sensor value um, and the trend in your sensor value. I think that is huge. It doesn't get locked in. The 670G gets locked in. So it's as soon as it sees that you're falling, it turns it off and then it just can't get out of that. I mean, let's say at best in 30 minutes, um, but at worst in two hours. So it's, so it's blocks. Um, um, for me, the fact that my pump can turn on insulin at a 54, once it realizes that I've, I've started to turn upward again, um, it helps me avoid the rebound hyperglycemia. Um, which helps me avoid roller coasters. Um, so I do like this, um, and it does make basal IQ feel very fluid, whereas manual mode can feel very rigid. Rigid. Um, I always feel like I'm 
bashing manual mode and everything else. And I would like to take one second and say, I really, um, I really have been fond of Medtronic over the years. Um, I just think the 670G was kind of not the best pump. Um, and I think they pushed it on people. I think they kind of pushed it and they wanted people just to believe it was good, even if it wasn't. And so, um, that was really opinionated. Okay, anyway, so let's talk about what the 670G manual mode actually does. Um, this is honestly where I think the problem lies in my own case. I think the ability to customize where the 670G suspends is nice. As I said, remember, you can suspend when, you know, if it's gonna be suspend on or suspend before low. Um, but maybe customizing when it can resume would be even better. Um, I have never paid close attention to when the 670G resumed my basal. Um, meaning that I just have never noticed, does it do it exactly at 90? I don't think it does. Um, does it do it exactly at 75? I don't think it does. Um, but I am not exaggerating when I say I've seen my SG, my sensor value, climb ever so slowly from a 40 to a 90 when my actual BG had exceeded a 155 or you know a 175 long ago and still not see a resume. Um, that is very frustrating for me because it's not that it can't just do a bolus, it's just that it leaves me babysitting and it leaves me having to look out for that. Um, so these were just long, rigid blocks. I don't know how many times I can say that. Um, and the need for corrections. Um, according to the Minimed 670G system user guide, when a suspend before low or suspend on low occurs, it will remain suspended for at least 30 minutes and can remain suspended for up to two hours. Again, here is another blazing difference. The T-Slim can suspend for five minutes. Basically, like you can suspend for five minutes. Um, as soon as the suspend is engaged on the, on, in manual mode, it's in for 30 minutes. So there's a, so 30 minutes versus five minutes with the potential for more on T-Slim um, and no potential for less on the 670. Um, the user can also end the suspend at will, but this will be met with the loss of the feature for some time following. Um, according to the manual, once the 30 minute minimum suspend time has passed, basal delivery will resume if the following conditions are met. Um, so after your 30 minutes, it will resume your insulin if your SG is at least uh, 20 points above your low limit. So whatever you've set it at. So let's say I set mine at 50. Um, once I've cleared 30 minutes, as long as I've reached a 70, it will resume my insulin. Um, SG is, and the second one is SG is estimated to be more than 40 points above your low limit within 30 minutes. Um, so my SG is estimated to be at least a 90 within 30 minutes. Um, I have to tell you that those sound very reasonable. Um, but there's something wrong. I don't know. I, you know, maybe it's just that the sensor just doesn't reflect that change soon enough. I and mean, maybe that's what it is, but it was common, really common to see a two hour suspend, um, or an hour and a half suspend. Um, so there's just something that didn't work well for me with it. Um, I also thought it was interesting and I don't know what this is, but it says according to the manual, once the 30 minute, uh, minimum suspend time has passed, basal delivery will resume if the following conditions are met making it sound like both conditions. And I don't know if that's what it is. Maybe um, instead of it being one or the other, maybe it has to be both. Um, something didn't work for me. I'm nine minutes in. Okay, of note, these are those rules I think I was talking about for the um, overrides. If you do not respond to your suspend before low alert, your pump resumes delivery after two hours with only a visual notification alerting you to the long suspend. Oh, it's not about those rules. Basically just saying that if you never acknowledge your suspend before low alert, then it basically is just going to go ahead and put, it's going to end your suspend at two hours and then quietly go right back into your um, insulin delivery. So you will never even hear from your pump. That was very frustrating for me too. Um, I just, there were times that I just didn't know. And um, so two hours would pass and all of a sudden I was at a 320, you know, whatever, and not sure why. Um, there are really, uh, there really are a lot of rules here under the responding to your suspend before low alert category. Um, and I can't really say I understand them completely, but I can say the end result for me was the feeling that my pump was endlessly suspending without my being fully aware of it. Um, these are, this is true. Um, like not only was I getting a lot less insulin than I required, 
but that my pump was also failing to communicate to the, that to me. Um, that really kind of defined my entire 670G experience was that I wasn't getting the insulin I needed and, I was, and it wasn't being communicated to me what I was getting. Um, for my diabetes, not a great fit at all. Um, but for those who are less sensitive, um, it really might work fine. And in fact, maybe people who are less sensitive really like the hour and a half or two hour blocks. Um, I don't know, I can't speak for them, 10 and a half minutes. <sighs> oh, I'll just show you this one really quick. Uh, this is another pump. This is the same three hour window. And I just wanted to show this one really quick because this is funny. This right here is the suspend. This is the 30 minutes where the suspend feature was unavailable. Then it turned around and went right back into a suspend. So that's three hours right there. And this is the exact same three hour time frame on the, with basal IQ. And only this area and this area is where there was a suspend. So it's almost the exact opposite, the amount of time that this one was suspended and this one was not. Um, and that's why one, if one of those works and I can show you the numbers where the T-Slim does work, then obviously the other one isn't gonna work because it's it actually, in this case, it was actually the opposite. 11 and a half minutes. Okay, um, I'll be back for random stuff and how to help them succeed and then some observations. Thanks for watching, bye.